what a wonderful day to read a wonderful work of literature. Don't you wish to know about the Golden Age of Spain? I know. I this commercial is boring. We need more excitement. Let's talk about the Spanish Inquisition. Jewish people have been expelled from our nation. Muslims and enclaves have been seized. Now that that's over, let's talk about the architecture. The plays were held in outdoor courtyards. Esos patios eran conocidos como corales. Los primeros corales permanentes construidos fue en el Corral de la Cruz, que fue construido en 1569. I bet you didn't know any Spanish, huh? <laughs> Did you hear Maria Calderon is dating the king? No way! Yes way. Exactly. I don't know why she didn't date uh, Raquel because she's way more pretty right now. Yeah. Oh boy, it looks like the <laughs> Siglo de Oro costumes look exactly like the ones from the Renaissance Fair. Coincidence? Maybe. Not that far apart. Big, lavish, very expensive. Not my taste, but it's pretty good. Lope de Viega was one of the greatest playwrights of the Golden Age. Born in a working class family and then banished from Madrid for eight years. He wrote over 800 plays, with the most famous... Fuente Obejuna. Yeah, that word. It emphasized good governance, meaning of honor, and focus on uprising against Gomez de Guzman. Et cetera. All right. Pedro Rodríguez de Molina was the second greatest playwright of the Golden Age and he wrote a few plays on his leisure time while serving as a monk and became second to Lope de de Vega. And his most famous play was The Trickster of Seville and the Stone, which the famous Don Juan character originated from. Wait, there's more. Pedro Calderon de la Barca had a harsh childhood and began writing plays in 1623. His famous play was Life is a Dream about a Poland prince who was in prison since birth because of a prophecy that he would be a cruel king.